It's almost dark. We better get started. What are we getting started on? Uh, what's that? <gasps> Shrimp! Shrimp scampi. Um, done it once, and it came out great. And this time, I'm probably going to use these. I think I'll use these. Maybe I'll use these. Probably I'll use these. They're little cast iron uh, thingies I picked up at uh, some place. Um, I think of Burlington store. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? We got shrimps. I peeled and deveined, which makes life much easier. Uh, a little bit of frozenness, but that's okay. We'll get by. And now I got shrimpy on them. Yeah. Trying to hurry so nothing burns. I've got that side to medium and uh, side with the cast iron to medium high. I should maybe turn up a little. I don't want to burn. Okay, let's. Uh, I added some uh, veggie oil to the griddle. And see the shrimp is cooking up quick here. So oh, we better start adding a little spice. Let's add some garlic. Maybe. Ah, if I can open it. That should be plenty. Maybe. Set that aside. What else do we want? We want some Italian seasoning since it's scampy. That's regular Italian, isn't it? I think that's regular Italian. Uh oh. You've probably heard the story before, but Italian seasoning, the little tiny bottle on uh, Amazon is, I don't know, $20, and the great big giant bottle jug is like $2.10, which is a huge exaggeration, but you get the point. Really cooking fast, so we better get get them moving. And my lovely assistant is inside cooking the pasta. If we had more time, if I'd started earlier, it could start so soon. Um, I probably would have gone ahead and set up the uh, my little hot plate with uh, and cook the pasta out here. Then I'd have to drain it out here and blah blah blah. So she's doing it inside. The Lindsay orange peel, the uh, lemon juice is usually used, but this is, uh, I like the lemon peel. A little bit of red pepper flakes just to spice things up a little. And see, we're getting a nice pink color. They're curling. I don't like overcooked shrimp, so we got to be careful. And why this is finished up. Oh, you know what we should add to it? While it's cooking. Butter. I'm gonna get half of half a stick of butter, fresh from the fridge, stick into the plastic, and let's stick here in the middle, and uh, stick you, stick you, stick you. Maybe mix things up a little. Keep in mind, I have no idea what I'm doing. So 
so bear with me. It's a little bit more edgy oil too. Okay. Chicken broth. This makes a little chicken broth and these little Ooh. They're hot already. I bought these things a month or two ago, and this is actually the first time I've used them. So, we have a lovely Chardonnay. Actually, I think we hated it, which is probably why we're using it for cooking. That should be enough, right? 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 Maybe? Right? I don't know. Butter's trying to get away. This is definitely cooked strip here. The butter's not quite melted. And so, I'm gonna cheat a little. Drop you in there. Uh-oh. Drop you right in the middle. There we go. Stir it up a little more. Make sure we get all the buttery goodness. And start dumping me. Into the little cast iron whatnot. I know there's a name for them. I just can't remember. Can't remember my own name half the time. That, I don't know you. Who are you and what are you doing in my bedroom? Oh, that's right. We're filming griddle porn. You're welcome. Uh, we're just filling up the little doodads pretty good. Amazing what a pound of shrimp will do. Get in there. I just don't want to... Okay, it doesn't want to go in, so we have a thing for you. Mm-mm-mm. Oh. Oh, man. Take my word for it, the orange peel. Trump loves it. So what else should we do? Scrape the griddle. And I was told pasta would be out at any minute. Which apparently the minute's a little bit longer than my watch calculate. So we might have to go inside and see what's happening. I missed that show. What's happening? Hey, hey, hey. I know, it's before your time. You kids these days. Uh, so, let's turn that down because that's boiling pretty good. And uh, you keep an eye on things for me and I'll be right back. Okay, thanks for taking, keeping an eye on things for me. We have pasta. Uh, I don't know, Angel here maybe? Maybe. Uh, I'm going with a little avocado oil, just out of curiosity's sake. How's that sound? Drop that on. Da -da 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 -da. Rearrange everything a little. Ah. Oh, 
So we're just going to use two spatulas. And I left my other spatula in the house. Silly me. So. That's probably a pretty good crust on there. And uh, now I'll just pick up the scalding hot. Maybe not. We'll mix it in here. I was going to mix it all on the griddle like I did last time. But instead, we're going to need to attempt to mix it in the pan. Did you bring the fireproof gloves? You didn't! Man, what kind of audience you are? I need to upgrade my fan base or something. I know, I know. You get what you pay for. I do appreciate every one of you. I don't care what I say behind your back. Okay. That'll give it a little bit of crunch, huh? Don't we all love crunchy pasta? Sure we do. Okay. That was getting heavy. Got the griddle turned off. Somewhere, I have some, some coffee things. Hold on just a sec. I always keep my towels handy. Uh, and, oh, lucky, lucky. First of all, let's give you a close-up of that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it is. Uh, we'll take you over here. Look at the sunset. We made it. We made it, y'all. We made it. Yay. Now let's see if I can make it over here with the shrimpy stuff without spilling it or burning myself. Oh. One down. Let's see, we'll stick you over here. Too lucky, lucky, lucky. Yes. I'm so happy. And we happen to have a. Actually, we've got a handy stirring spoon. Get it blended together, and uh, we've got a cheese grater thingy, and we're gonna grate up some fresh Romano and Parmesan on there, and uh, give you one more quick how-to while we're while we're all here. Griddle still hot. A little bit of water. A little bit of uh, scraper. Now this particular scraper is a uh, scraper. It's a um, Harbor Freight. Paint spray, uh, not paint scraper, but a uh, paper scraper thingy. Uh, 
drywall or spackle, spackle spatula or something. And uh, it's flexible, the blade sharp for a fraction of the price of a Blackstone scraper. That works darn good. And I got a little bit more scraping to do, especially where the cast iron was sitting. But, and once it, actually I can wipe it now. Well, yeah, I'll come out later and give it a, a better wipe down and scrape up the, the other, uh, and then just a squirt of oil, rub it in good, and that's it. It's seasoned and ready to go for next time. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!